In 2015, 15 years after a global cataclysm known as the Second Impact, 14-year-old Shinji Ikari is summoned to Tokyo 3 by his estranged father Gendo, the commander of the paramilitary organization now. Shinji is caught in the crossfire between UN forces and a mysterious being called an angel, but is rescued by Captain Masato Katsuragi. He is brought to Nerve headquarters, where Gendo demands Shinji pilot Evangeline Unit 01, a giant bio-machine, against the angel. Shinji concedes when Gendo has Ryanami, a wounded Evangeline pilot, prepared to be sent out instead. Shinji loses consciousness during the fight due to injuries inflicted by the angel on Unit 01, as Evangeline units sympathetically reflect the pain of injuries they sustain onto their pilots. Unit 01 autonomously reactivates and wins the fight, destroying the angel. After the battle, Masato becomes Shinji's guardian and he is enrolled in a local middle school. When another angel arrives, Shinji's classmate Toji Suzuhara and Kenso Kaida sneak out of their emergency shelter to watch the battle, but the angel throws Unit 01 onto a mountainside, nearly crushing them. Miss it. Oh has the two take cover in Unit 01's cockpit and orders Shinji to retreat, but he ignores the orders and destroys the enemy with Unit 01's knife. After Masato scolds him for insubordination, Shinji W. And as often is recovered by nerve agents before being brought back to her. The sixth angel appears, but when Shinji goes to attack it in Unit 01, the angel fires a powerful laser, critically injuring him. Before beginning to drill into Tokyo 3 to reach nerve headquarters, he wakes up from a coma several hours later and Rei tells him she will take his place and leaves for the mission alone. Shinj, I agrees to pilot Unit 01 against the Angel alongside Rei in Unit 00. He successfully destroys it with an experimental positron sniper rifle, which requires the entire electrical power output of Japan to power. Rei is nearly killed defending Shinji from the Angel's return fire, but he saves her by cooling Unit 00 in water and prying open its cockpit using Unit 01's knife. Rei normally cold and emotionless, shares a smile with him. On the surface of the moon, a boy named Kaboru Nagisa awakens from one of nine coffin-like containers arranged on the ground. In a pit in front of him, surrounded by construction equipment and scaffolding, is an unidentified giant wearing a purple seven-eyed mask and wrapped in white bandages. A black monolith appears through which he and Seal one engage in a cryptic conversation. Looking towards Earth, Kaboru says that, the third one, has not changed in that he looks forward to meeting Shinji.